With Poland in the spotlight for its warm welcome of Ukrainian refugees, the years-long conflict between Warsaw and Brussels over rule of law seems to be on hold. Making sure it's not forgotten, these Polish judges, protagonists of the documentary Judges Under Pressure, they're in Brussels for a special screening. My emotions were very bad since I've been doing my job for 25 years. And now I can't do the thing that I love. The documentary shows how since 2017, when the Polish parliament passed a series of bills to reform the justice system, judges like Igor Tuleya lost their jobs and their livelihoods. Seen as enemies of the state, they now tour the country, engaging with people. We believe that Poland is on the verge of an authoritarian regime. When you don't have courts, you don't have separation of powers anymore. This is a threat not just to the Polish, but any EU citizens who want to come to Poland. Last October, Poland was fined one million per day for not complying with an EU court order to suspend the country's disciplinary mechanism. For these judges, though, the EU action is too little, too late. We've been disappointed for many months because any decision that uh, takes place takes uh, too long. Because we are struggling to survive, Polish judges, Polish lawyers, Polish citizens, and the Commission is still analysing papers. Trying to speed things up is this local politician Pascal Smet. A lawyer by trade, he's hosting the Polish judges in the Belgian capital. Poland is the European Union and Poland is us. And when you see people, judges in this case, fighting for the rule of law, fighting for democracy, fighting for European values, I believe it's the role of the capital of Europe, the Brussels capital region, to defend them and give them a voice. Thank you. Uh, the European Parliament agrees. Last week, they backed a resolution to block funds for rule of law violators, like Poland. But with the war in Ukraine and EU leaders more united than ever, it's likely the Commission will stay stum for now, much to the dismay of judges under pressure. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Brussels.